problem with international break. At least we've got Arsenal fan TV. But what about fans of other clubs? Glad that I am an Arsenal fan. Hold tight you with us, Pudel, because that's right. Although it's been a quiet, dead, dry international break, it ain't been quiet over here on Arsenal Fan TV. We've got new shows. Lee Judge has got a show. Claude and Ty has got a show. And we've still had videos being uploaded during the international break. So let's get into some of your comments and see what you lot have been saying. Dr. Pinhead said, Robbie's right. Who gives a shit who scores the goal for England? Whether it's Delhi Ali or Kane, just want England to win. Club rivalry should be put to one side for a tournament that comes only every four years. <sighs> I mean, I see where you're coming from. At this point, we, we, we have no, if you're gonna support England, as an Arsenal fan, we have no choice but to cheer for whoever scores because we've only got two players of our team in that squad, and that's Danny Welbeck and Jack Wilshere. Anything's possible. They could get on the score sheet. They could, well, you know Welbeck loves a, a national game, so um, you never know, but it's more likely that players from rival teams will score. And, you know, I've been to a few international games. It doesn't excite me as much as Arsenal games do, but will I cheer on the players? Of course I will, I've paid my ticket to be there, haven't I? This is from unknown person. To all Arsenal fans, would you cheer if Chamberlain scored in the winner in the World Cup semi-final? I mean, you should just stay as an unknown person. What kind of question is that? Of course we would cheer. Although he plays for Liverpool now, he's still one of our own and he still plays for our national team. And of course I would cheer. It's off say Chamberlain at the end of the day. 706 Easy said, I'd rather win the Charity Shield Cup for Arsenal than England win the World Cup, to be honest. And there was a lot of comments like this. I've gone through the comments and we have Arsenal fan TV supporters from all over the world, literally from all national teams that are partaking in the World Cup. Um, but it only seems to be the English fans that just don't give a damn about this tournament, which is quite surprising because it's one of the most exciting ones. It's a big cup to win at the end of the day. But I guess because we're never really in it to win it, like we don't really get that far. I guess that um, lessens the momentum for Arsenal, ugh, for England fans to really give a damn, I guess. Because what else is the reason? Why is there so many of you that don't give a damn about international football? Ari Jewel Julian said, I would rather have my country win the World Cup because I'm Armenian. Hold tight you, big up Mkhitaryan and Kim Kardashian. <laughs> that's, that's literally the only people I know from Armenia. Sorry. Ryan Evans said, I would much rather win the World Cup than some shitty League Cup. Your name sounds English, your club is Spanish, but I'm guessing your international team is not English. I bet it's not, is it? Nah. Moving on from all the international job, blah, blah, blah. Claude and Ty have a new show, can you believe it? Uh, TZ says, in the Wenger in and out debate, Claude is the voice of rage and anger, Ty is the voice of love and compassion, and Robbie is the voice of reason. This debate, I swear to God, it's like never going to end. We need something new to talk about, guys. DXVL says, I've been waiting my whole life for Claude and Ty to have their own show. How old are you? Like five. Tubbs100 says, it's quality getting all the regulars doing vids when games ain't on. Can we get this more often? Yeah, why not? I love it. Avran Abraham says, maybe Robbie can still carry her from Sky Sports. Uh, nah. First of all, I think the Liverpool fans will be in uproar about that. Me as a Liverpool player, ex-player, come into an Arsenal channel. Don't think that's gonna work. Secondly, you'll probably end up spitting in Ty's face. OP times HD said, I bet Ty would wear that same outfit on his wedding day. I mean, why not? The love of Arsenal be. I'm sure his wife would approve. <laughs> Could you imagine dressed in turn up to the auto and your man's there in a full kit, Arsenal, full kit, wanker. No offense, Ty, but you know what I mean? Could you imagine? She might just turn around. Runaway bread. Well, that's it for me, guys. Keeping it short and sweet. Hope you enjoyed this episode. My name is Pippa, and I will see you next Monday. To see more videos, do not forget to like and subscribe. And uh, ugh, when is this international break over, bro? We're giving you a chance to be on Arsenal Fan TV and give your opinion after the game. All you've got to do is WhatsApp your video and hold the camera like this. Send it straight after.